Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome to Step A Set. Um, I just, you know, just had a little something on my mind. Just was sitting here. Um, this came from my damn doctor appointment, and um, I just had a funny story pop up in my head, man. And that's the thing about the way my brain works. I just shit just pop in my head. And I just start laughing. People be like, "It was so fun." I'm like, "Nothing, nothing, nothing," because it just it'll be so silly to uh to bring it up to somebody. You know what I'm saying? So let me tell y'all popped in my head, y'all. So I'm just thinking, right? At a time when I stopped smoking PCP, the 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 incident that made me stop smoking PCP, angel dust, whatever you call it, sherm. You know, uh, that butt naked, you know what I mean? Whatever you want to call it, right? So this happened in, um, well, to give you like a little fast, little background, I started smoking PCP in 1999. Um, I did it for, I ended up going to jail in 2000, got out 2001, um, was off of it for a while, got back on it. And that that in in 2003 is when I had this incident right here happen, right? Let me tell you what happened. So I told this in the, um in another video on this page, the PCP video, but I'm, I'm just going to tell just this specific story for this video right here. Um, so I was smoking dust, right? I had um I had um. Uh, Sorry, something just popped up on my screen that threw me off. But this particular day, um, I was on the e-pill. So I was on the e-pill and I was, I said, damn, I need to get some bags. So I went to the project where I live at, with project in the town I live, to um to get me a bag. So on my way to the project, I ran into one of the guys I used to um that I used to get the, the sherm from. So I was like, yo, you got it? You got it? He was like, yeah, I got it. He was like, yo, but I don't want to serve it to nobody, man. Serve it to you because it, it's too potent. You know what I mean? I got to go and do something to this to cut this, to cut the potency down. I'm like, what? Too potent? Motherfucker, that's what I want. What's wrong with you? I mean, not really because that's another story. But when he said that, I was like, oh, okay. I know what's good. Let me get that. What's wrong with you? So he's like, all right. Boom. He served me the bags. So boom, I was like, all right, let me go pick my baby mother up and we gonna go to the room. So I'm already on the e-pill. So I go pick her up. I'm like, um, baby mama, you wanna um you, you wanna um smoke some shit? She's like, nah. I see you want a pill? She's like, nah. She just was with the just to hang with me. All right, boom, we go to the hotel. So I'm rolling up and shit. Boom, boom, boom. So I started, I started smoking, right? I'm now mind you, I'm already rolling on the e-pill. So I started smoking. This the shit that he said was too potent, and goddamn, he didn't fucking lie. So I'm sitting there, I'm smoking a piece, right? <sighs> smoking it like a motherfucker, like Smokey, happy as a motherfucker to be smoking. <sighs> smoking the shit out of it. So all of a sudden, I'm talking to my um, my daughter, mother. So I mean, my daughter's mother, my son, mother. So I'm taking off my clothes. We about to get a little nasty, you know, be a little fresh. So you know, I'm taking off my clothes and stuff. So all of a sudden, I look down. I look down. And no lie, I swear to you before God, I am not lying to you at all. I look down and I said, oh shit, babe, my dick shrinking. No, I thought I was bugging. Shit just was backing that thing up, just exiting. That motherfucker was just going away. So I'm like, what the fuck? Now I'm thinking I'm bugging. But when my son mother looked over and said, ooh, bae, it is shrinking. I jumped up. No lie. I was ass naked. No, no, no. You not. No, no, no. Oh, hell no. Nah. My goddamn meat is going back inside my body. My shit is vanishing. When I looked down. I just seen the head. The shaft was gone. I mean, no shaft at all. Straight head against bottom of stomach that's it my shit was gone my shit had left the building peace so anyway i get up now i'm bugging i'm like oh shit so i go i, I runs to the door ass naked now so you know what the little safety lock that be on the hotel doors the little like thing that you know little safety lock that you could latch over and 
So I goes to run out the hotel ass naked because now I'm bugging. So I pull the door, boom, the fucking, the door just, it, it stopped, it caught it, boom. So at the time, my brain going crazy. I got a million and one thoughts going through my head, going through my head, going through my head. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, I'm bugging, I'm bugging. And I said this in my head, y'all. I remember the exact words. I said, God, please help me. I can't take this. I can't handle this. God, please help me. I can't handle this. And as I'm bugging, I, I'm saying this in my head. So when I said it, I promise you, no exaggeration. This is no, no, I'm not putting nothing on. I'm not just telling you this story to, 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 to hype it up. But as soon as I said them words inside my head, the fucking feeling went away totally. I'm talking about it felt like it went away so much that it felt like I never got high at all. It's like my whole body just went fucking clear, drug free. The E pill mixed with the dust just vanished my fucking body. And I sat on the bed butt naked. And my son mother looked at me like, hey, you, you, you all you all right? Because she couldn't believe what she just witnessed. Because she seen me bugging out, going crazy. And then she didn't know what I said in my head. And I just calmed down, like, on a drop of a dime. Calmed down, sat on the bed. I said, yeah, man, I'm all right. She said, looking at me all confused and baffled. Like, what? You was just about to, you, you was freaking. You was bugging out. I said, yeah, I said, um, so I told her what I did. I said, I told God to please help me. And it went away. I said, I feel regular, like I didn't do nothing. And she just looked at me. She was just fucking blown away. And from that moment, I mean, I always believed in God. But from when, when that happened, there's nothing no one could tell me about God after that. There's nothing you could tell me. Like, nothing you can tell me. So I say that to say this, like we have a loving, loving energy and force, the your higher power, whatever you want, God, Allah, whoever, however you want to call the name of the energy and the force that has us, that love us unconditionally, you have that. It, it's here, no matter what you're going through, God, is here and always here and you're never alone you just have to believe that everything is going to be okay and if you don't got it god will come through for you god came through for me i'm not nothing special came through for me a lot of times in my life i'm not nothing special You just got to have that faith. And sometimes we lose that faith. We got to have the faith like, you know, when you go to sit down in the chair, you don't, before you sit down in the chair, you don't turn around, check the legs of the chair, check the back of the chair, make sure it's, 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 it's holding up. You know, you don't check each screw of the chair or whatever that's on the chair to make sure it's tight. You just have a seat because you know that chair got you. You don't doubt the chair. You know you're going to be all right when you go to sit down. You know the chair is going to be up under you. That's the same way you got to, same respect and regard you got to have for God. Know that God has you. Know it. Don't question it, just know it. And there's some situations where you have to go through because things happen for you, not to you. You know, situations you're put through, it's for your benefit, for you to learn the lesson of that, out of that situation and to push yourself forward. You have to learn the lesson or whatever, you know, whatever situation you're put in, you got to grab the lesson from that. Because like I said, things happen for you. They don't happen to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, you have to just have that 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 solid, firm conviction that I know God got me. I know whatever situation I'm going through is for my benefit, for my best benefit. 
and it takes it takes work it takes i'm not saying just to do it like are oh, you gonna do it today it takes practice you got to keep going and keep going and keep practicing and keep doing it and keep doing it then eventually it'll come to you it'll come to you and i don't care how old you is too people always put age on something like time doesn't even exist clocks exist time doesn't exist what time is it now fucker fuck you mean what time is it the time is now that's what time it is so I just came up here to do a little video for y'all to keep pushing, man. Keep going, live your life, have fun, do whatever you want to do, positive, spread love, help people. You know, we, we need more, more people in the world that's, that's, that's pushing love, man, and that's helping others. Um, I'm gonna do my part, so just do yours. I love y'all, man, peace.